everybody to another episode of Crypto Moose. Mitchell Bouchard here, and I am your crypto and NFT investor. I'm just like all of you. And what we're going to do on today's episode is we are going to talk a little bit about how it's up to you in terms of how do you see your future going, especially when it comes to crypto investing and learning this space. Um, so we're going to keep this a little more intimate. We'll go back and forth to the screen. Maybe we'll research a bit. But ultimately, I want to talk about a little bit on why I'm still doing what I'm doing here on YouTube, kind of what that's about, but also just to inspire you because I am literally like probably at least half of you where I've been into crypto for a few years in terms of investing heavily, um, at least what I deem is has been investing heavily um, every month, like on the month, actually pretty much every every week or day I'm buying. Um, but the point is, is that I have a lot more to learn and I like sharing what I've experienced, at least especially the past two, three years, because that's where I've put my money where my mouth is, so to speak. Now, I was first introduced into crypto, you know, five, six years ago, but I didn't have a lot of money at the time. So what I want to talk about in this video is that it is up to you to save money to learn. Now, I don't know when the video is coming out. It, it should probably be out by now. But if it isn't, I'm going to have a video here on the channel showing you some tips on how to save money. So if you're somebody that cannot save the first $100, $10, this will help you out. I'll give you some ideas. I will explain to you kind of having that crypto mindset and how it can it can work going forward. So also like and subscribe, but only if you like the video. If you like the video, like it, subscribe, and also comment down below. Um, that not only helps out the channel, but I do message you back. If I put dash Mitch, that's me hitting you back up, and it's really cool to kind of see what you are all thinking as well, right? Um, so... One of the things I wanted to hit first, though, is um, thinking big, right? So a lot of times you get into cryptos and you're like, you know, I'll buy some Cardano. Um, I can't afford a Bitcoin because it's too expensive. Well, maybe you could write down with a pen and paper. That's, that's what I always tell you to do. I have books and places where I can write ideas all the time around me. Um, you need to write out your ideas because... It's easy for the mind to come up with ideas. It's very difficult for us to store these ideas. If you're ever foggy or you, you cannot come up with this with any ideas, you need to get what's in your head out on paper. And I know it seems it seems like, oh, like big deal. Like everybody tells me that. It is a big deal. You need to do it. Um, that's how I started. I've made goals where, you know, I wanted to one day have 5,000 in crypto. I have well over that now. Um, maybe to you, that's a lot, maybe to others, I'm sure a lot of you are thinking, you know, big deal. Right. Um, but to, like to actually have, you know, a portfolio and I'll, I'll go over most of my portfolio in this video, um, which I am down significantly a lot right now, but that's okay because I've been buying the dips and I'm thinking long-term. So one of the things is thinking long-term and again, it's up to you in order to, believe in what you're investing into. At least that's what I believe. I'm not telling you to pick up any crypto. Um, we don't talk about that. But I do want to hear what you are picking up. So comment down below. Why are you picking up Cardano? Why are you picking up XRP? Um, should be doing a video on that. But why do you like AVAX? Why do you like Dogecoin? Um, in pen and paper can really help you identify, you know, the whys. And you can go on a deeper level as to you know, why, why you're picking something up. So a lot of times that's what I'm doing. And, you know, I'm, I'm constantly thinking in reassessing my list, right? I have ideas on what I want to do, but things change as well. And especially today, I'll be doing a video on it, but today Sam Bakeman Freed was arrested, supposedly. I didn't see it, but I, it's been all over the news and we're currently in a, a bear market. Like it's, it's pretty bad. 
It looks really bad in the space. But fundamentally, blockchain has never been stronger than it is today in terms of development. Look at Cardano, what they've done. They launched smart contracts. I remember when we didn't have smart contracts. It was about a year ago. Um, they're going to be coming out with the privacy coin. Um, transaction speeds are faster. Uh, we, we have the, we've seen the Basel hard fork, right? There's going to be Hydra in the future. That's just Cardano. Uh, Bitcoin, you have more nodes than ever before. I run a full, a full Bitcoin node. I don't even know how to code. But the point is, is that you have to look out for yourself. You need to make time. Set up a calendar, right? Um, that's what I do. You know, if it's if something's not in my calendar, it's probably not going to get done. Like, take stuff serious. It is up to you in that regard, right? Um, if if you comment down, comment down below and tell me, you know, I don't know what to get. You know, it's probably because you didn't write write out a portfolio, right? Write write down which coins you're getting, and why. Um, one tip that I do, and I've been doing it for a long time. I would say, you know, at least a couple of years straight now, which feels like a long time because I've done it. I've done it over 50 times is what I'm trying to say. I write out my top 10 coins, my top 10 projects. And then I just scratch them off until I reveal like two or three that are actually legit. And I keep recycling this. And then that's what I invest into for the week. So that's a really good tip. Again, it's getting the thoughts from your head after doing research, watching Crypto Moose, maybe watching a course. We have those in the link in the description below. By the way, they're cheap. Um, they're like 10 bucks. But but you can get a lot of good information, right? You can, you can get knowledge based on somebody that lost some crypto because they were either scammed or you got into dumb projects. Like... We teach you the fundamentals there, but also on this channel. You, you don't even have to take a course if you don't want to. Just watch watch the videos. I'm, I'm, I'm going to have a lot of cool content coming in the next couple weeks even. This coffee is cold. Uh, so let's go to the big screen for a bit. Um, I know this is a little bit different than the other videos, but um, I really want to be sincere and honest in this video because a lot of people are not, and you're going to get people trying to rip you off in the space, I'll never do that. I'll never do that. Um, everything that I put out, it's basically what I'm doing. I'm gonna show you my portfolio again. So I do, this doesn't account for my NFTs. I have quite a few NFTs and I have, um, I have a lot of Cardano NFTs really, but I'll, I'll even show you my some of my uh, main wallets here. So if we look at my portfolio though, I'm at about 7,600 USD. And I've just been investing 500 a month for the past couple years. I really, I mean, I got in at the top, really. I started investing heavily at the top. I'm just being honest. So, um, and yeah, people are talking about, oh, these people buying the dips on YouTube, whatever. But I'm getting the top project. So, for example, I was down like 70% on Cardano. But because I've been buying it consistently, so that's dollar cost averaging, DCA. You buy a little bit every month, and now I got my average buy price at 50 cents. So it was at like $2. So we have Polygon, Bitcoin. If you look at my allocation, I'm 42% ADA, almost 16, well, 15% Matic, 15% Bitcoin. That's just what I'm doing. I'm not telling you to do this. You can do whatever you want, right? And in fact, you should do what you understand. Um, but also try not to go for a hundred X. I do that, but I do that with the small percentage, right? So if we look here and this is full blown transparency. Okay. Uh, let's go to chart or stats. How do we find that chart or stats? Here we go. Best performer is Kopi. Wow. I'm up like 15 bucks. Big deal. Um, but if we go to I'm trying to find the percentages, I'm not sure if that will show, but anyways, the smaller market cap coins that I have, those are like my moonshot coins. But look, I've got like twenty dollars, a hundred dollars, it's not a lot. Whereas the majority of my portfolio is in my top five projects, and that's where I think you should be at 
maybe even hold some stable coins, probably a good idea. So comment down below what you're holding on to. I would like to know. Um, also, I'd like to cover specific episodes that you would, you'd all want me to cover. So here's one of my Cardano wallets. I, I'm doing a video on the hunks. So if you haven't seen that, I'm going to have a video on this. I'm going to, I'm explaining how I got to this point, kind of what happened with my NAMI wallet. So I would give you a quick preview of that, but I've, I've got that set up on my other account here. Um, but these are my NFTs that I'm very bullish on. Like, for example, I've got, you know, $600 NFT here or 600 ADA NFT, um, boss cat, a thousand ADA diamond hands, a thousand ADA. I've got five or six bubble jets. I have another one in another wallet. So that's another thousand. Here's 3000 ADA here. So 3,500 ADA. I've got tons of handles. I've got a somewhat rare, large plot of lands. Um, Again, like I'm, I'm very bullish on this. So I have other wallets, but I just don't want to, it's not that I don't want to disclose what I'm holding. I'm holding the same stuff. But again, you want to, you want to keep some level of privacy. I'm already on YouTube and creating courses. So anyways, that's all I really want to talk about. Just, just remember that nobody's going to save you. Nobody's going to invest for you. I'm just telling you, you know, you can think whatever you want, but I am here to tell you. You have to put in the work. You have to believe in what you believe in. I am estimating today we are December 12th, 2022. And I'm going to call it right now. I think Bitcoin will reach $80,000 by 2025. And I think Cardano is going to shock the world. Okay, Cardano is what, 30 cents USD right now? It will go back to three to five dollars. Okay, that's a bold prediction. Again, it is December 12, 2022. I think by 2025, it'll be three to five dollars. By 2030, it's going to be insane. It's going to be insane. That's just what I believe. So, anyways, please leave your comments. If you did enjoy the video, like and subscribe it means a lot to me. And yeah, let me know what else you'd like me to cover. And remember, get a hardware wallet. Because if, if it ain't your cheese, it ain't your... No, I said that wrong. I almost had a perfect video and I messed it up. If it ain't your keys, it ain't your cheese.